remember uh, when Jeremy bought the property, I guess probably back in 05, 06, maybe. Um, he was living, he was in another really awesome residence in Manchester. I think he wanted to replicate that, um, albeit with maybe a slightly different you know, design aesthetic uh, in this building. And this one was never gonna be a 100% residential property. It was always gonna be a mixed use property um, with even a heavier, probably dose of commercial space. Uh, and in doing so, I think it was a unique opportunity to develop a property in a way that had not really been done thus far. Uh, and it was met with a lot of success. There's no doubt that this property was restored the way um, it should have been. Um, I think a lot of times the, either the speed of uh, some of the developers going through properties, maybe they, they don't spend as much time doing some of the details like they should. Uh, and, and that's just not the case here. I think the Pie Factory probably does a better job from a restoration standpoint than one of the, any projects that I've ever seen or been lucky enough to represent. I think that the developer of this property did a great job of kind of, uh, from a theme perspective, of capturing what was literally an old pie factory and finding um, some elements in the property that kind of drive that aesthetic. You, know, you get a sense of what the building used to be. Uh, I think, once again, from a restoration standpoint, from a historical standpoint, it's important to kind of tie that past and the, and the future together. thing that people notice when we tour them through the property is that the common areas here are they're cool uh, they, they feel different I think you get a different sensation than when you walk into you know a building where they really didn't spend a lot of time um, in the you know in the landing spaces you know when you come in you're met with uh, different options different textures different materials um, as well as just some wide open and really well thought out spaces and it, it just gives you a sense of arrival which uh, once again I think is um, a little different for commercial spaces you know, anytime you have a, a kind of an old warehouse, um, it really gives you a lot of latitude in how you can subdivide spaces. And so uh, another great sort of facet of the Pie Factory is that you've been able to uh, reallocate spaces based on tenant need. And so there's several spaces here that have either been uh, connected or disconnected to create smaller spaces or larger spaces as needed. Uh, and that's, you know, once again, the more flexibility, the more um, opportunities you can give tenants to grow into the spaces, uh, the more likely you are to just have a, a fuller building over time uh, and have your tenant base. Uh, and, you know, all properties know that uh, uh, being full, um, it's important. The business landscape in Richmond is changing. You know, coming out of neighborhoods like Manchester, where there's this creative energy, where there's startup energy, where there's incubator energy, I mean, all these are fueling the next generation of growth that's going to happen in Richmond, and it's absolutely occurring in Manchester right now. I haven't been involved in the neighborhood so long from a sales perspective. Uh, you know, we've, we see it grow on a daily basis, but it's, it's almost like it moves lockstep. Like, people don't believe um, that, you know, that it is anything other than what it is, and then they come over here and they notice that there's two new buildings on the skyline that they hadn't noticed before. Um, you know, the future of Manchester is incredible right now, if for no other reason than there's a 17-acre redevelopment site directly across from the Pie Factory, uh, the old Reynolds South plant, that will be 400,000 square feet of historic rehab, um, a complete retail center along Hall Street, and two towers. Um, it's just, you know, once that happens, I mean, there's no denying that Manchester will be one of the most amazing spots in all of Richmond. Thank you.